Hi friends, this video is about how I take a survey or explore a new course that I'm enrolled in. This semester, one of the courses I'm taking is Neural Networks, and needless to say, this would be my first encounter with the buzzword field of machine learning, deep learning, and neural networks. It's been a week and a half since the semester started, and like anyone else, I'm already behind. In this class, I'm four lectures behind. This is me, exploring the course and steadily moving from a state of I don't know what I don't know to I know what I don't know. As I review the syllabus and realize how difficult it's going to be, I make use of notability on my iPad and use the Cornell note-taking system to first create a concept map. In many ways then, studying, or rather exploring a course, is similar to the art of cartography. You map the world of knowledge to concretize the four steps of understanding it. They are, I don't know what I don't know. I don't know what I know. I know what I know. And I know what I don't know. As I study, I realize I have many things to do. Lecture notes, discussion notes, assignments, lecture videos, textbooks, and readings. Evidently, I'm overwhelmed. Yet my aim this time is to quickly get through the lecture notes, create a map of the big ideas, jot down anything that I understand and anything that I don't understand. I begin with these ideas. Deep learning, deep networks, design networks. I then go through the history, noticing how the lecture slides talk about a few highlights from each decade from cybernetics to digital computers to computational learning theory, and finally to deep learning in 2006. I understand how the field evolved. I read that the success of DNNs is at first surprising, but later, in fact, quite obvious. Again, I'm not going into the depths of why that's the case. I'm just getting a general idea. At this point, I've almost finished going through the lecture slides. I note down a few more key concepts like representation learning and multitask learning. Soon, I realize I should use color coding to highlight key concepts and I use Notability's boxing feature to put key concepts in blue boxes. I have now finished the first lecture and I realize I still have a pretty shallow understanding, yet I don't want to waste time just randomly going through things I don't understand, so I skim, not read, through the textbook. I note down key points next to each idea and write down what I don't understand in red. Each time I am absolutely unclear about a concept, I do a quick Wikipedia search. This time I'm learning about representation learning. I now move on to the second lecture and start taking quick notes. I get stuck on generative and discriminative models. I'm still trying to learn what they are, but even as I learn them, I make sure that I don't spend too much time on specific concepts like these, because again, the whole point of this survey is to understand what I don't know. At this point, it's probably been a solid 25 minutes and I decide to have a sip of my protein shake, because why not? And finally, after 30 to 35 minutes of intense studying without any distractions, I'm finally able to get a hang of what I know and what I don't know. 
And having this clarity, I can now delve deeper into the specific concepts, doing the math, and really understanding the material. I hope this video helped in understanding how we can take a survey or explore any course that we are taking and how we should actually approach this nuanced field. Thank you.